Sport. <laughs> Might I give you a hand? A blue hand? <laughs> Or perhaps you would prefer something more relaxing, entertaining, like an old-fashioned murder. But no one knows there has been a murder because the victim just disappears. It would be the perfect crime. Without a body or witnesses, no one could say you had killed anyone. Wouldn't that be ideal? And just think of how many people you could do away with. They would just disappear into the thin mists of the air, never to be seen or heard from again. I'll show you how. Committing murder is easy. But there is one tricky twist to the perfect murder. Where do you hide the body? So you're sure no one will ever find it. Bodies in lakes often float to the surface. Bodies in buried trash are often uprooted by wild animals or bulldozers if they're in the city dump. Where would the perfect hiding place for a corpse be? In plain sight, of course. Where else? Where everyone can see it. I'll show you what I mean when we peer into a bucket of blood. <laughs> I will talk to you of art, for there is nothing else to talk about, for there is nothing else. Life is an obscure hobo bumming a ride on the omnibus of art. Burn gas buggies and whip your sour cream of circumstance and hope. And go ahead and sleep your bloody heads off. What is not creation is Graham Cracker. Let it all crumble to feed the creator. The artist is, all others are not. A canvas is a canvas, or a painting. A rock is a rock, or a statue. A sound is a sound, or is music. Crush their bones into a paste and 
he might mold them. Let them die. And by their miserable deaths become the clay within his hands. That he might form an ashtray. Or an art. For all that is comes through the eye of the artist. The rest are blind fish swimming in the cave of aloneness. Swim on, you maudlin, muddling, maddened fool. One bright and sunny night, some artist will bait a hook and let you bite upon it. Bite hard and die. In his stomach, you are very close to immortality. I was looking at Carla's picture. Why, I pay you to look at pictures? Oh, I get to work. I was just looking. There are empty cups all over the place. Clear them out. You shouldn't be so rough on him, Leonard. Hey, say, Walter. Hi. Man, how you make it? Fine, man. How about you? In and out. Valdez Vice. Yeah, LaCroix checking in. Lou took over a couple of minutes ago. Anything new at the door? Well, nothing you can pound nails in. A couple of hustlers. One of them short, fat, brunette, named Skinny. The other one was short also. She was bleached. Name of Fat. Probably didn't get it. They didn't give any pictures, though. Guess you can keep an eye on. Okay, any heads? Well, Jerry Sachs looked like he was straight. I'm sure he's on it anyway. Didn't see any pushes around the place. Lou said he'd check out on Jerry. He'll sound him out later if he gets any higher. I guess that's about it. Okay, uh, go on home and get a good night's sleep, you think. Okay, so long. Everyone listen to my new poem. I think they really heard it. I heard it, Mr. Brock. Thank you, Walter. I'm sure you did. Bring on the multitude with a multitude of fishes. Feed them to the fishes for liver oil to nourish the artist. <laughs> that was word for word. Yes, sir. I've forgotten. You mean you don't remember your own poem? I refuse to say anything twice. Repetition is death. I don't get it. When you repeat something, you are reliving a moment, wasting it, severing it from the other end of your life. I believe only in new impressions, new stimuli, new life. I thought you believed that life is an obscure hobo bumming a ride on a... I do believe that, Walter, but I also believe creative living. To be uncreative, you might as well be in your grave. Or in the army. They tried to draft me once. I couldn't pass the test. <laughs> Walter, Leonard's looking at you. He's just my god. Walter has a clear mind. One day something will enter it, feel lonely, and leave again. Yeah. <laughs> so much. Yes, cats, yes. If you want to know how beatniks live, William and me will show you. We'll introduce you to some wild one. You may even discover an artist of your own. And how much is that going to cost us? What cost? A couple of bucks. You want to meet some beatniks, don't you? Oh, no, it's the artist. I'm just crazy about artists. All that is comes through the eye of the artist. The rest are just blind fish swimming cave of aloneness. Oh, you must be an artist. And working as a bus boy, too. Feed him that he will be satisfied. The artist is. All others are not. That's most intriguing. Are you a painter? Well, well no, I, I work... Uh, I'm working on something that's not ready yet. What is it, man? Finger painting? Hey, draw me a picture of a house, Walter. Make some smoke coming out of the chimney. Well, I am working on something. I'll show you soon. Walter? Is he? The Ice House Restaurant and Pub is now open for business not far from the Hoosier Dome in Indianapolis. 
You'll like our friendly setting and just love our great food. Try us out. Happy hour is from 3 to 6, Monday through Friday, and 2 to 4 on Saturday. The Ice House Restaurant and Pub, a great place to have dinner with friends. Five blocks north of Troy on Bluff Road. Or if you're coming in on 70, go south on West Street, just one mile. People from all over central Indiana are shopping at Cash Bargain Center, Indy's fun place to shop, at 25th and Sherman Drive, because they found they can get top quality brand name clothing at incredible discounts. Cash Bargain Center is a wild, fun experience with clothing and prices the entire family can enjoy. No store in central Indiana can match Cash Bargain Center's low prices or the excitement you'll have shopping there. Cash Bargain Center, 25th and Sherman Drive, Indianapolis. Here's another reason to shop this week. Men's Genuine Levi's, only $9.88 at Cash Bargain Center. A totally new way to have it all. Options 3. The American tradition of ownership without the traditional obligations. Options 3. Now, if you change your mind, give it back. Options 3. You'd like a different model, different features. Give it back. Options 3. You'd like to use your money for something else. Give it back. Options 3. Ownership without the traditional credit or down payment required. Options 3. The time-honored tradition of ownership brought up to date. Options 3. Here's a public notice. Betty Liquidators, three big locations, is liquidating their mattresses and box springs for just $38 each. That's right. Take your pick of the lot at their liquidation sale. Truckloads of bedding are being liquidated from only $38 each. Betty Liquidators, 1934 North Chadland, US 31 Greenwood, and Castleton Plaza. Mattress and box springs, just $38 each. Betty Liquidators, open daily, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., Sundays, 10 to 6. Betty Liquidators, open to the public. sandwich, Mrs. Swicker. Oh, if you were my son, why don't you let me fix your nice bowl of soup? Won't take but a minute. Oh, it's okay. I, I can fix myself something. Besides, I got something important to do. Oh, oh, say, Walter, did you see anything of Frankie tonight when you went out? I didn't see him at all. But, well, if you do, tell him I got a nice, fresh piece of halibut for him. Tell him that? I mean, do you think he'll understand? He's only a cat. Oh. Good night, Walter.
canvas is a canvas or a painting. A rock is a rock or a statue. A sound is a sound or it's music. Petition is death, Frankie. to the laundry mat, Walter. Huh? Don't mind him. What have you got? It's a thing I made. Walter. You like it? What you got? Oh, come look at this, Lenny. Well, where'd you get that? Auction? I made it. You made that? I said I did, didn't I? Walter, it's very good. Honest? Honest. 
What's it called? Dead Cat? Dead Cat? That's its name? Sure. Well, it sure looks dead enough. You, you want to buy it? Buy it? That thing? Scare people out of the place. They'll be silly. It's tremendous. Look at the detail. The anatomy's perfect. Look at the expression on its face. How come you put a knife into it? I didn't mean to. Just got carried away, huh? Well, all right. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put it in the corner of the alcove. If it sells, we'll split 50-50, okay? Sure. Does this mean I'm an artist? Maybe so. You can do other things as well. well all that is comes through the eye of the artist. Yeah, you're a real artist now. I go in back and scrub down those garbage cans. Much now. You really like it? We like it. Now go on. Did you see my cat? What's the matter? You losing? How do you like my cat? You make this thing mad? Uh huh. It's crazy. Crazy. You wanna buy it? For me, Matt? I'm tapped. My cat, got to work. Hey, hey, Waller, come here a minute. Hey, congratulations, man. Walter, you're famous. I saw your cat. Did you like it, Mr. Brock? You may call me Maxwell. Now, now how'd you do it, Walter? All right. Just took some clay and fixed it up. <laughs> Attention. Attention, everyone. As you pass through these yellow portals, I am sure you noticed on your right a small clay figure. And assume this transfixed effigy to be the work of a master sculptor. And indeed, so it is. That master sculptor is in our midst. He is none other than Walter Paisley, our very own busboy whose hands of genius have been carrying away the empty cups of your frustration. Mark well this lad. His is the silent voice of creation. Within the dark, rich soil of humility, he blossoms as the hope of our nearly sterile century. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, Maxwell. Bring me an espresso, Walter. Uh, Maxwell, really beautiful. Thank you. Man, you are in. Oh, Walter, it was yes, wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. This is my man. Took a very... Yes, yes. Listen, man, you got a pen? Huh? This is my man. Hey, Pops, what's happening? Making a big scene for Walter. Who'd he shoot? He made a cat. Out of clay. See you around. Yeah, later. Did you hear them, Mr. Pete Sanders? They all like my cat. Yeah, very good. Now look, Walter, you must be tired. Why don't you take the rest of the night off? Oh, I don't no, 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 you got it coming. Besides, you're creating an incident. When people are applauding, they don't know what a coffee. So go on home and work on something. Make another cat. Well, I haven't got another cat. Well, just go to the movies. Please, Walter, go. All right, Mr. DeSantis. Good night. Good night, Walter. Walter? Walter, wait a minute. Oh, hello, Mayolia. Walter, I dug it. My cat? It was the most wonderful, wildest, like, wiggiest thing I've ever seen. Walter, you've done something to me. Something deep down inside of my prana. I have? Oh, Walter, I want to be with you. You're creative. You've got a hot light bulb glowing inside of you, and I want to be warmed by it. Gee, that's nice of you, Naolia. 
Walter, take me away from here. Take me away to some cool blue place. Gas me. I can't. I gotta go home. Oh, then I'll go home with you. Oh, no. Mrs. Swicket wouldn't like that. She's my landlady. Isn't there anything I can do for you? I don't think so, Naolia. Oh, Walter, I can't let you just split like this. I've got to do something. I've got to contribute. You don't have to do anything. Wait. Wait, there is one thing I can do. One little thing. Don't leave, Walter. I want to give you something. Something that'll make you remember me. Put it in your pocket. Now go, Walter. Don't look back. Just go. Saturday, May 26th, it's the All-Star Circuit of Champions. Be trackside at the Paragon Speedway when the All-Star Wing Sprint Cars take to the 3 8 mile high bank play oval. See Kelly Kinzer, Kerry Norris, and many more. Saturday, May 26th at Paragon Speedway, located just 30 miles south of Indianapolis on State Road 67. Tickets available at the gate on the day of the race. Paragon Speedway, see you there. Hi folks, this is Don from Don's Guns. Things are a little hard out there. If you need a little extra cash, Don's Guns pays cash for used guns. You got an old gun sitting around the house you don't use? Bring it on down, I'll give you cash. And of course, I am the largest handgun dealer with the lowest prices because I don't want to make any money. I just love to sell guns. <laughs> Those who shop Bud Wolf Chevrolet buy at Bud Wolf Chevrolet because Bud Wolf knows the true value of used cars. And that's what you get. A true appraisal of your trade-in, it's true value. This means you never pay too much for a new car, used car, or truck at Bud Wolf Chevrolet. So let me ask you this. Why not shop Bud Wolf Chevrolet Avante? Why not? Easy to find, biggest dealer in Broad Ripple. Why not? The Wright Institute of Otology announces a fundraising dinner on May 20th to kick off a hearing dog program to benefit the hearing impaired. From smoke detectors to a baby's cry, the hearing dog can be trained to respond. For more information, call 353-5679. Once you have found him, never Come with us to the South Pacific. For tickets, call Teltec 635-5252. <laughs> Struggling artists have so many problems. And like famous composers and authors, artists all too often do not receive their proper acclaim or compensation until after they have died. Bach, Beethoven, Mozart, Michelangelo, David, even Shakespeare, and hundreds more didn't achieve the full measure of fame or fortune during their lifetimes. Great actors, and entertainers, musicians, orators often climb to the dizzying heights of popularity while they live. But the poor, starving, creative artists sweat and struggle to just eke out a living most of the time. Unless they're fortunate and find that elusive one thing that makes their work immediately noteworthy. That fleeting, seemingly small and insignificant something that makes their work truly original and distinctive. Usually it's a mental concept. Usually it's in the mind. But sometimes it's in the brush. Or in this case, the knife. How would 
you like to pose for my sculptor tonight? His knife is...